Genshin just published their Dev Note 3.4, and in this video, we are going to discuss whether if I'll hate them is going to be a useful addition to the current Genshin Impact character pool. Hi, my name is Tenha, and I mostly cover Genshin Impact contents on this channel. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel with a large setting on, so you don't miss out on any other future videos that I release. And without further ado, let's get into it right away. In their Dev Note video, we have seen that Alhatham's skill kit is pretty much the same with Keqing, but here's the catch. He is a better version of Keqing, in Dendro Element. Do you guys remember when people were saying C6 Banette would ruin your account? C6 Banette ruins Eula and Electro Charge attacking Keqing for now. However, when you use double E on Alhatham, his attack gets infused with Dendro Element and it cannot be overridden by anything, which means that he is going to be perfectly compatible with C6 Banette. One concern I had with Alhatham is that right now, Nahina is too powerful to a point where you don't need any more Dendro characters if you have her. However, because we have a lot of characters now, there are a few solutions to this problem, and I will mention this possible team comps that will help you thrive in Spear Abyss. First team I would like to recommend would be the Quicken team, where you would utilize Aggravate and Spread with Electro and Dendro characters. You would want to utilize a very F2P friendly character, Fischl. The reason why you want to have Fischl is that her ascension passive grants additional damage and there is no internal cooldown to it, which means every time this occurs, it is always going to be an extra aggravate. And you could even further buff Alhatham's damage by using Bennett. Because Alhatham's Dendro Infusion will not get affected by anything, even C6 Bennett won't be able to stop or interrupt the aggravate status from the enemy, if you use him right. In here, you could possibly do something like Fischl, animal character like Sucrose, Kazuha, or Venti to do additional electro hits after you throw them to the opponent, as well as some CCs, and then I'll hate them. You could replace Fischl to Raiden Shogun if you wish, but either way it's going to be very good. Here is the second team that I'll hate them would complete. To be honest, Nilo's team is kind of complete, but with Nahida in a team, I felt like I died a lot because I had to keep her out of the field to apply Dendro to create bountiful cores. Now, I understand that this team is quite expensive because you would need Nahida, Nilo, Kokomi, and Alhatham. All being a 5-star character and you will also need Nilo's weapon to make this work. As in like, to be able to provide legitimate amount of damage to a point where you can say, oh, you can probably get 3-star easily in Spiral Abyss. But I can guarantee you that this team is going to be super fun and feel more complete when you have all of them. And then, for the final team, I am going to leave this up to you guys. Not that I'm lazy, but because Genshin Impact has no endgame when it comes to combat system, you could literally do anything with him at the moment. Any off-field DPS that helps you do elemental reactions, mix of either a shielder or healer, and a support will be great for Alhatham. The reason why I'm making this video is because I really hope you understand the joy in making team comp yourself. If I were to make a team, according to the advice that I just gave you, I could literally use like Singchu, EM Cookie, Bennett, and Alhatham, which would allow me to create Dendro cores, setting it off to Hyper Bloom with EM Cookie, as well as a stable healer and a damage booster Bennett. I want you to take your time and mix and match the characters and tell me what your feature team is going to be like in the comment section. In conclusion, my first impression of Alhatham being a Dendro character was not so great, but come to think about it, it wouldn't be so bad to have a Dendro Keqing after all. Although I would much prefer to have a whole new skill kit for a new character, the fact that his skill kit is actually a fixed version of what Keqing was supposed to be like makes me get more excited to have him on the game. He looks absolutely gorgeous as well. So what do you guys think? Do you think he's going to be interesting or not? Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Oh, also, don't forget to check out the unboxing series that I have started on this channel. It's a new thing that I started and I think it's gonna be very entertaining for you guys. I have so far opened Ganyu Phone and Ganyu Earbuds. And I will put it in the link in the pinned comments. And for real, adios.